Greatness. Throughout speedrunning, there have been multiple instances of great speedrunning achievements. Whether it be Matthias Rusmeyer's control over Mario Kart 64, to the epic battle that ensued to break the final second barrier in Super Mario Bros. 1. But today, I'll be telling you a story that you've likely never heard of. A feat which was achieved on the game Super Mario 3D World over the course of one year in 2020. Today, I'll be focusing on one runner's crest to take the game where it had never been before. Today, I'll be telling you about the greatest speedrunning achievement that you've never seen. Before we delve into today's story, it is important to take a step back and look at the context. Super Mario 3D World is a game divided into 12 worlds and consists of 110 individual levels, known as ILs. Each of these ILs is measured in in-game time, using the game's timer compared to the conventional real-time attack, which uses external timers such as life split. This will be very important as the video progresses. To obtain a world record on a given stage, one must achieve the lowest in-game time. But as the in-game timer measures to the nearest second, it is possible for multiple people to share a given time. When they are tied for first, this is known as a tied world record. From the outset of the game, it was found that using the cat suit allowed you to go faster. This is due to the mechanic known as cat momentum. By cancelling a dive using a scratch and then jumping from said dive, you are able to achieve higher speeds than normal. This, combined with Peach's ability to hover, would allow runners to perform large skips in certain levels, lowering their times. Throughout the first few years of running this game, the majority of world records were held by two contenders, SSRY and King Boo. Combined, they held nearly all the records with SSRY being on top come the mid part of 2015. But over the next two years, King Boo would go on to dominate, in a way never seen before and by August 2017 would hold 104 out of 110 world records. Alongside these individual level records, King Boo also held the Any% world record, a time that would be untouched for three years. Which leads us nicely onto the year 2020, the year where our story would begin. An untied world record is a record held by only one person, and entering the year there were 59 of them, as shown by the table below. As you can see, King Boo held 45 of these 59 records, but over the last few years, others have started to post untied records of their own. One of these people being Shinji, who had eight. However, our story focuses neither on King Boo or Shinji, but instead, the newest member of this elusive untied club. Although Luigi Master had been playing the game on and off for the last four years, it would take until the end of 2019 for him to post his first untied world record which would come on the stage 5-4. He would lower the existing world record held by King Boo from 72 to 69 seconds. This time save was helped in large part due to crouch jumps. By crouching each time you land on the floor and then subsequently jumping, you could build up speed. And over large sections such as in 5-4, this speed game would be huge. Luigi Master would go on to use this technique to subsequently set his first untied of the year 2020, 4-4-38. This time was quite special because only King Boo and SSOI had 39, so getting 38 was quite an impressive achievement. Especially since unlike 5-4, there wasn't really any stretches of long flat land, so crouch jumps wouldn't save as much time as it could on 5-4. Either way, Luigi Master would use extended hover and peach to perform the final skip at the end, which would be enough to set the first 38 on the stage. Two days later, Luigi Master would follow this up by tying 3-1-14. 3-1 is unique because it's one of only two stages which features ice, which allows you to do this. By rapidly mashing crouch on ice, you can maintain a ridiculous amount of speed. And as you kept speed through the pipe on this game, he would keep the speed to the end to allow him to tie the 14 seconds. Going into February, Luigi Master would tie two more untied records, both of which were held by King Boo at a time of 47 seconds due to the fact that the levels were very similar. The only major difference being that the patterns of the cycles were slightly faster in 11-8 considering it was the remix level of 
Whilst Luigi Mask would tie both 47s on the 9th of February, one week later he would get an untied record on 4-3 and get the first 46. And so by the end of February, Luigi Mask had tied or beaten seven untied records, two of which coming in January and the other five coming in February. But he was still a far cry away from achieving the Holy Grail, holding all 110 records at the same time. To do this, he still had 50 untied records in his way. Unfazed, on the 1st of March, Luigi Master would attack 9-9, one of the hardest levels in the game, and a level where King Boo was 20 seconds ahead of the competition. How? Well, by using the cannon box to completely bypass the second section, and jumping off the cannonballs. Luigi Master would also learn this technique, and was able to knock one second off King Boo's time. But behind the scenes, one runner was taking notice. After seeing a newcomer eat into a number of his untieds, King Boo would return with a bombshell 1-242. This time was insane, beating one of Shinji's untieds by a second, a time that had previously stood untied by two seconds for two years. The king was back and he was not going to give up his throne without a struggle. Throughout the rest of March, King Boo would continue where he left off and set a number of world records in the process. Notable ones including 3-580, 3-746, 11-286 and 5-Castle 89. With times like these, it was still clear that King Boo was a force to be reckoned with. Despite focusing on other games like Mario Maker 2, a game where King Boo would hold 9 out of the 20 records on Nintendo's prestigious Ninja Challenges. As April rolled round, Luigi Master and King Boo would have a number of battles on a variety of stages. The first of which being 7-5. The previous record before April was 58, but it was found by switching to the boomerang suit you could collect the final key coin a bit earlier and both runners would do this to get 54 within a matter of weeks. Around this time, the two would also go to battle over 6-3, a stage which Rokajis used the touchscreen to open a number of doors as well as to navigate tight corridors. After the checkpoint, both runners would go to the propeller box which allowed them to completely bypass the 5 key coins and go straight to the end. With better movement throughout the rest of the level, the world record was lowered from 43 to 41. Their final battle of April would take them to 6-7, a level renowned for being very boring and auto-scrollery. But by hitting certain parts of the level and playing blind off screen, it was possible to skip two parts of the level and hence save a lot of time. The runners were taken in turns lowering the record from 53 all the way down to 49. After three months, King Boo would return to Mario Maker 2, but not before setting 21 records. But of these 21 records, only three of them were untied, and all of them were set back in March. And within a week, Luigi Master was able to tie all three. Amazingly, he had survived the King's return, and now he was ready to go on a tear of his own. Alongside his battles with King Boo, Luigi Master was amazingly able to dislodge 23 of King Boo's untied world records, bringing the total number of untieds from 52 to only 25 held by other people. But whilst King Boo's untied count was plummeting, Shinji's untied count had remained relatively intact. But by May 2020, it was clear Luigi Master was just getting started, and he would go on to tie 2-5-31 another untied held by King Boo, with the final part of the level requiring tight jumps and touchscreen in order to get a good time. Just one day later, on the 1st of May, Luigi Master would tie yet another one of King Boo's untied records, this time 9-244, a time that would officially put Luigi Master number one on the total combined leaderboard, a lead he would then begin to extend by tying a record which had previously stood untied for five years by King Boo himself. 10-6, 34. Next up was 9-8, a level previously dominated by King Boo, who had held a 5 second lead over 2nd place. But Luigi Master was able to not just get 47, but lower it to 46, untying the stage, a trend he would continue 
onto 2-2, another level where King Boo had a large lead over everyone else. Not only would he tie the 35, but he would also get 34, setting yet another untied in the process. On the 18th of May, King Boo's untied count would temporarily catch a break as Luigi Master set his sights on 3-2, the only untied world record held by perennial top 5 player, Milk. This level required Luigi Masters to play a sustained amount of time off screen before doing a skip whilst off screen in order to trigger the checkpoint early. He would use this to set a new untied record of 99, greeting the previous mark by only one second. By the end of May, the Ouija Master had dislodged another 13 of the existing untied records, and this put him closer than ever to his goal, as he was now only 13 records short of a perfect 110 world records, a number that would fall to 11 once it was revealed that Razzler's new 1-1 record was fake, and that SSRY had mistakenly used two players for 7-C. Despite other people losing their records left, right and centre, Shunji's records were holding up remarkably strong, with only three of them having been beaten in the last five months, and little did we know he was about to make a grand return. I know I'm going to go for the skip. Come on, edge, crouch, edge, crouch, edge, crouch. Whoa! Shunji! Whoa, Shunji's in the lobby. Little did I know at the time that that clip would foreshadow the most dominant three-month stretch in the game's history. For Shunji was back and he was stronger than ever before. The first record he would set on his tear back through the game was 8-429, a record which would improve Shunji's existing mark of 30 seconds on the stage, a time that had only been tied last week by Luigi Master. But unlike Shunji's 30, Luigi had no response to the 29, and the time would remain untied for the months to come. Throughout June, Shunji would continue to rack up a number of untieds on a variety of levels, and entering July, he would set his sights on 4-1, a time which would still untie by King Boo at 35 seconds. Shunji though, didn't care, and would go on to push the level to new heights, getting a 32 second time. A time that would amazingly put him 3 seconds ahead of anyone else on the stage. Back in 2018, it was rumoured that the reason why Shinji's times were so strong was because the guy would literally crouch off the edges of ledges in order to go faster. This technique would later be coined the edge crouch, and we'd see it for the first time on the same day he got 4-1, 32, as Shunji would knock off 3 seconds of his existing untied record on the stage. By the end of July, Shunji had racked up an unprecedented 17 untied world records, and of these untieds, only 5 had been tied by Luigi Master in that time frame. On top of that, during the same time frame, Luigi Master had failed to post an untied of his own, and hence the only conclusion to take entering August was that Shunji was simply the better player a fact that even Luigi Master would admit to, and whilst he still held the lead overall, Shunji was fast approaching. The only untied not sent by Shunji during this time frame was by Yandema, the new any percent world record holder, who on the 21st of July would post 6-525, utilising the ice glitch. However, this would only last for two hours before Luigi Master would tie it and post a 6-525 of his own. Shunji's momentum would continue into August, and at this point it was clear that Luigi Master needed to do something to stop Shunji taking over. Luigi Master would start by improving his setup and getting a capture card. This made it much more comfortable as instead of having to point a webcam at the TV, instead he could let the capture card do all the work and just focus on doing his runs. But he was still in need of a response, and he would respond with one of the greatest runs of all time. So you may be asking, what is so special about 1-237? To answer this question, we need to look at the level's history. In 2016, King Boo held the record untied at 45, a mark that would be beaten two years later by Shinji, whose 43 to this day has only been beaten by five people. King Boo would return with a 42 in 2020, before Luigi Master and Shinji were taken in turns, lowering the time to 39, which meant that when Luigi Master finally got 37, he was almost 10 seconds ahead of the outside of the top 10. But how did he do this?
The trick was beating Shinji at his own technique and cramming six edge crouches into the stage. But Luigi Master wasn't done for the day. By the end of August, it was clear Luigi Master was back and able to challenge for records. But Shinji's dominance over the last three months had taken its toll, with the number of records standing Luigi Master's way rising from 13 to 22, with 19 of these 22 belonging to Shinji, more than he'd ever had before. Unperturbed throughout September, Luigi Master would go on the offensive, not just tying some of Shinji's untieds, but untying them by cramming even more edge boosts in. It was clear that he had mastered Shinji's own technique and was now maybe even better than Shinji himself as he would set a 3 second untied record on 3-6 using the tanuki to skip part of the stage and using the speed he'd built up at the beginning of the level he was able to conserve it through the final box and with it would set a new benchmark that would be unchallenged to this day. Armed with the newly acquired tools for success Luigi Master would spend September and October making up for lost ground, tying and beating a number of Shinji's untied world records as well as tying the record on 7-6 one of the three remaining untied records set by King Boo at the end of September, Shunji would step back from the game, and Luigi Master's new rival was a lot closer to home, coming in the form of his own brother, Mario Master, who in October would become the newest member of the elusive Untied Club. Ironically, following his brother's footsteps and setting his Untied record on 11-5, where Luigi Master had got his first Untied record back in December 2019, by improving on a glitch known as the Moon Jump, which was found earlier in the year, but was only applicable to 11-5. This record would stand for two weeks, but eventually Luigi Master would tie his brother with a 22 of his own, which meant by the end of October 2020, he was closer than ever to his goal, with only seven records standing in his way. One of these levels was the hardest and final level in the game, Champions Road, a level that had been dominated for the last three years by none other than King Boo, who in 2018 completed the level in 131 in-game seconds a run years ahead of his time and was recognised as such, receiving over 1.5 million views on YouTube. This run was a masterpiece, navigating each section flawlessly and even using the boomerang suit to collect the final key coin sooner, which allowed him to do the thank you skip. Despite the odd camera angle, it was possible to completely bypass the last pipe, saving 15 seconds in the process. A skip that will be the icing on the cake to what in my opinion is the greatest speed run in this game's history. A run where nobody would even think to try to beat it for over two years, despite improvements in movement techniques. But all this would change in November 2020, where King Boo would return for one final showdown, which would all start on the 24th of October, when Luigi Master posted a 129. King Boo would spend the next weeks improving it all the way down to a 127, a time that we tied the next day by Luigi Master. But the two would continue grinding for lower, and exactly one week later, on the 14th of November 2020, one of them was on a very good run. A run that looked like it could seal the battle once and for all. And unlike in March, April and May, it wasn't Luigi Master who struck first, but King Boo. And with only the final section to go, it was clear this run was going to be fast. And as he touched the final flagpole, King Boo had set the first 126 on Champions Road. A mark that if it wasn't for Luigi Master would be 9 seconds ahead of anyone else. As a result, the run was widely celebrated and looked like it would stay untied for a long time. And probably would have if Luigi Master hadn't spent the next 7 days grinding out a 126 of his own. Which meant once again, just like the beginning of the year, there was nothing to separate these two amazing runners. With Champions Road tied, there stood just 6 levels between Luigi Master and a world record sweep. And the very next day, he would dispatch a two of these, 8-1 and 11-11, by slotching in extra edge crouches to not just tie Shinji, but beat his existing marks by one second on each level. At this point, Luigi Master was playing better than he'd ever played before, and with only four records standing between him and a world record sweep, it was no longer a matter of if he would get it, but when. However, his path was still by no means easy, and would require him to improve on some of his weakest stages in the game. The first being 6-144, a mark which Shinji was 4 seconds ahead of him on. But once again Luigi Master would find and implement extra edge crouches to put him ahead entering the final section, which requires you to once again change to a boomerang suit to collect the key coins faster. 
and even with a slight stuck on the wall, it would enter the box, still just about on pace, and would then go through and finish to get 44, a tied record, which was still enough, and then by, by December he was closer than ever to his goal, only needing three more levels to complete a perfect sweep of the game. These three levels were 3-3, 4-5 and 9 Captain Toad. Three levels which historically Luigi Master has struggled on. And only a month previously, he had tried to get the record in 4-5, only to fall two seconds short. It was going to be a struggle. But after some grinding, he was able to get a 32 on the 14th of December, lowering that count to just two records remaining. Just two days later, Luigi Master was set his sights at 3-3, a level which has always been notoriously hard to optimise due to the fact that the second section includes very narrow moving stairs, where it's very easy to lose speed on. But Luigi Master would get a run going where he had all right stairs and was able to enter the door at 479, borderline record pace, and he would be able to convert it at the end to get 3-3-46, enough to tie Shunji for the world record, and that meant there was only one more stage to go. In just under a year, Luigi Master had gone from relative obscurity to one of the greatest achievements in gaming history. The only thing standing in his way was 9-Captain Toad, a record that had been untied by King Boo for 5 years. Due to the nature of Captain Toad levels, all the tricks that Luigi Master had learnt over the year were rendered useless. No ice glitch, no crouch jumps, no cannon jumps, or no jumps at all for that matter, and it would be these Captain Toad levels where King Boo would dominate the most having a complete world record sweep over the Captain Toad treasure tracker game. And with no video existing of the world record on 9-Captain Toad, Luigi Master just couldn't get it. But on the 23rd of December, King Boo would yet again tie his record on 9-Captain Toad, this time on video, and would send it to Luigi Master. Luigi Master had his benchmark on the stage, and the rest is history. And with that, on the 23rd of December 2020, exactly one year on from Luigi Master's first untied record in the game, he had it, the world record sweep, 110 out of 110 records. For the first time in the game's history, one runner could say they held the record on every single stage in the game. Like a true champion, Luigi Master would spend the next few weeks and months improving his own records going into 2021, setting such times such as 9-978, a time which cut almost 50 seconds of the world record at the time, and 8-Castle 159, a time which is also cut over 30 seconds away from the existing record. To this day, Luigi Master still holds the world record sweep on this version of the game, as well as 60 untied world records meaning at the moment Luigi Master remains unmatched on over half of the game's levels. But as the months went by and the game would receive a remake for the Switch, this achievement would fade into relative obscurity and would be widely unnoticed as a result, which is why I believe that it is the greatest speedrunning achievement that you have never seen. I've sent links to the pages of the runners in the description below and it would mean a lot to me if you could either subscribe to them or show them some support. Um, and yeah, thanks for listening to the video. Hopefully you can share this with other people if you thought the achievement was great and we can give this feat the attention it deserves. In the meantime, have a good day. See you.